Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. Uh, I just want to show you this trippy 2001 Space Warp type effect using atmosphere volume with either a file texture in this case or noise shader as we'll, we shall use in the tutorial. So if we start off by creating a point light, use a spotlight, but I find a point light works better in this case. And just increase, uh, add some color temperature, increase the exposure. And under render settings, under environment, atmosphere, volume, create that there. And just increase the density so we see something in the IPR window. Now we can see our atmosphere volume and node editor. We can also show it in the outliner by sh disabling show DAG objects only. You can see the node appear there just in case you, uh, you lose it. Right, so under volume color, we want to create our projection node to which we project the, through which we project the noise shader. And under projection color, just create a uh, non noise shader there. Okay, so at the moment it's set to planar. Uh, we can change these projection types, something like spherical, cubic, or shrink wrap. But uh, under noise, we want to make sure the coordinate space is set to UV. And then under increase the octaves, increase the distortion, you should start to see the, the effect appear. You can exaggerate it by increasing the amplitude. And then you can change the colors. So I'm just Reduce color two to black and change color one to some like warmer color. Okay, so under the UV projection, let's try something different. Let's try cubic, maybe spherical. And then under the atmosphere volume, we can add some attenuation. We can change attenuation color. And if we reduce the anisotropy, you can start to see the effect really, uh, really start to appear. You might notice in some noise in the atmosphere volume, just increase the number of samples. It will uh, add to your render time, so just be aware about that. And I'm just going to increase my camera array samples just to further clean up the noise there. So if you want to animate it, so go to the noise and under time, we can keyframe the time attributes. So you can see as I scrub through it, it's animating the effect. Yeah. That's basically it. Thanks for watching. Bye.